All right, you guys, so today's video is gonna be about food prep. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask me, how do I cook every day? How do I have time to do this? Well, the, the trick is I don't cook every day. Um, of my six meals that I have every day, um, only two of them actually cook. My omelet and my tacos at night, which are really, I mean, everything's already made, I just gotta put it together. So technically, I only have to make an omelet every day. All my other meals are set. Um, so the trick is making a week's worth of meals, put them in the fridge, and you're good to go. Um, one of the meals I have every day is a uh, ground chicken sandwich, um, which I'm going to show you how I do, um, how I make it, and then you guys can, you know, make it your way. And I just want to show you how, it's, you know, it's pretty easy, you know, it takes, you know, less than an hour for sure, I mean, probably half an hour at the most, um, and you'll be ready for one of the meals that you'll have every day um, for a week. So let's check it out. Alright you guys, so for today's burgers, what I chose to uh, mix in them is going to be uh, jalapenos, uh, a little onion, a little poblano pepper, and uh, some cilantro. So we're going to chop that all up, and then I'll show you how I grind up my fresh chicken tenderloins that I get from Sam's every week. Alright, let's get going, let's do this. All right, you guys, when you're chopping these up, again, just try to do this nice and thin. I mean, I'm sure nobody wants to bite into a huge chunk of jalapeno or a huge chunk of onion when they're biting into their burger. So, you know, as you can see, you know, showing off these ninja knife skills I got here, we're just chopping all this stuff nice and fine so that it blends really well with the meat when we grind it up. All right, you guys, so the vegetables are all all chopped up here. Mm, great. Okay. Now we're going to work on grinding the chicken. So KitchenAid mixer is a must. I'm a big baker, so I definitely have had one of these and used it a lot. So there's a thing in the front that got an attachment. So I have a meat grinder attachment. Okay. So what this is, you can get this at Kohl's. Okay. You can get this online at KitchenAid. Okay. All this does is it screws in right to the front of the KitchenAid mixer. Okay. So basically you slide this into the joint there push it in, tighten it up, okay? Now, we're gonna take those chicken tenderloins that uh, we got from Sam's, and now we're gonna grind them fresh, okay, but to make our, our chicken burger. So, let's get that started, okay? We'll turn it on, rock it up. So as you guys see, I mean, it's not that hard to do this. You know, just put the chicken tenderloin in, push it through, comes out ground, it's kitchen magic. All right, now, so guys, we got all the chicken ground up, so now, because I have seven burgers, uh, one a day, um, we gotta measure out uh, about five ounces per burger, seven times, so 35 ounces, so we're gonna do about, you know, two pounds uh, and, you know, three ounces, maybe a little bit more, uh, that way we're getting uh, five ounces per burger, and then we're gonna mix in our, um, our vegetables, and then go from there that we chopped up, so, Pretty simple. I, I still use the tray from from Sam's, and then we're just gonna pour this on there until we get you know up to the amount you know that we need. So got a pound there, a little bit more, a little bit more. Good. There's two pounds, so 32 ounces, right? And then we need a little bit more because we need about 35. So maybe a little bit more. A yeah, little bit over. All right, that looks good enough, okay? All right, you guys, so now we got this. Now we're gonna take the, the veggies. I'm gonna take this, just pour them in there. Boom, okay. We're gonna just mix this all up together. Okay, I don't need the food processor or food away anymore, so you can get that out of there. Perfect, all right. Now it's starting to look pretty. Got lots of greens going on in this, okay? So we're just gonna do a good job of mixing this up. Okay, if we don't get all the vegetables in there, not a big deal, okay? I'll try to mix it up as best we can. Okay, really incorporate all the onions, cilantro, jalapeno, poblano, all those good flavors. Make this chicken taste awesome. Again, you can use any vegetables you want. Again, these vegetables are not adding a ton of carbs or fats or protein or anything. Basically, just healthy, got some vitamins and minerals in there. Okay, and just use to help flavor the chicken, because when you eat as much chicken as I do when you're dieting, you know, you got to mix it up. All right, so this is all mixed up. Now, I'm going to use that food 
uh, scale again, and we're gonna weigh out, okay, uh, our burgers, five ounce patties, okay? Let's do that. So when I'm weighing these out, I'm actually doing about five ounces and a quarter, just because I know I have some vegetables in each one of these. All right, you guys, so we got our burgers ready to go here. Yep, those look really good. All right, so now it's just time to turn on the stove and get this going. And again, when I cook these, I will put it on about, I don't know, three quarters heat. And I'll use two pans just so that I can get this all done at the same time, just saves time. So again, we'll just use a little pan, nothing crazy here, just a little canola oil. Get those pans all sprayed up. And we'll let those heat up, and then we'll get it going, okay? When we do this, I'm gonna put these out on the pans, okay? Which you'll see in a, in a little bit. And then I'll use a little burger smasher, um, which you'll also see in a little bit to flatten these puppies out and get some lines on them, make them look all good. All right, here we go. All right, you guys, so you can see I'm getting the little over five ounce burgers on the pan, smashing them up. Um, one of the pans I have is a, a, a grill pan, which is awesome. Uh, I, I wish I had two of them. Um, it just has grill, grill lines on the bottom of it, so it's raised up like a grill. So when the burgers or steaks come off there, there's actually you know, and grill marks, it's awesome. The other pan is just a flat pan, you know, again, I love doing it at the same time just to get everything done. Um, normally, I make chicken burgers and turkey burgers together, so, you know, I might be prepping my turkey burgers while I'm doing this, but today, you know, I did a little crock pot preparation instead. So, there you go. All right, you guys, so while these finish cooking up, in about like another minute, uh, I took the time while these were cooking to get my crock pot ready. So all the extra ground chicken that I had is gone into the crock pot with some more vegetables that I cut up. Okay, as you can see here, get a little light, there we go. So we got our onions, our scallions, um, we got some more cilantro, we got some more jalapeno, and all the leftover chicken is going in there. So I'll show you that after we finish up these chicken burgers, because that's going to make uh, all the, the ground chicken meat I'm going to use for omelets and for tacos. Uh, so that's all prepped and ready too. So now I can get these burgers off the grill. So just one at a time, nice and easy. Let these cool down. All right, you guys, so while this chicken is cooling here, okay, we've got our crock pot. Now, I told you I already got the ground chicken in there and all the vegetables. Now, what I do to, to spice it up a little bit, kick it up a little bit, is I use this. Spikes, black bean and corn salsa, okay? Again, calories-wise, there's a whole 20 calories per serving. So really, like no fat, four grams of carbs, one gram of protein. So. I use half of this. So one week I'll use half, the next week when I make it I'll use the other half. So it really doesn't add much macros wise to this. So what we'll do is we'll take this, we'll pour that all over in there. And, oh, that looks really good. And then what I'll do is when I go to work, turn this bad boy on and I come home from work, it's done. Okay. Definitely suggest using crock pots, guys, especially to, you know, obviously to cook your meat. Um, again, another time-saving way to uh, make meal prep a little bit faster and more efficient. All right, you guys? All right, so let's set up what this, this sandwich is going to look like um, with what I take to work every day. All right, you guys, so all the mind-blowing work <laughs> is done. So the easy part is the sandwich. So um, what we use is a little all-whole grain. 100% wheat bread, okay? Uh, get this every week. This is my go-to. Butternut, okay? Um, Macros-wise, 1.5 grams of fat, 25 grams of carbs, 3 grams of fiber, which is awesome, only 4 grams of sugar, and actually 7 grams of protein. So a lot of protein in this bread. So I'll start with that, and then we'll grab a slice of mozzarella cheese. I always use mozzarella. Uh, I love cheese. hate cutting out of my diet. So we go with mozzarella because it's low in fat. So mozzarella macros, three and a half grams per slice of fat, 
uh, only one gram of sugar and again another four grams of protein so without even adding the chicken I'm already at 11 grams of protein which is awesome so pop that bad boy on there that's done and then last but not least that beautiful chicken breast that or tenderloin that we grilled up it's just gonna pop right on there and that's over done again uh, that chicken is a whole um, calories wise uh, 150 calories um, we've got no carbs and 31 grams of protein so again super healthy so all together I mean this, this meal is gonna have 340 calories fat wise gonna have 8 grams of fat um, uh, carbs wise have 26 grams of carbs and protein wise is gonna have 44 grams of protein so definitely helps me meet my macro needs for the day pop that on there Put that in a little Tupperware thing, and we are good to go. All right, you guys, that's it. So that's basically prep day for my burgers. Um, I'll also make turkey burgers at the same time since I got everything laid out. Um, I knock out both of those usually on Sunday and, and get those going. So again, I got uh, meat for my omelets are done, meat for my tacos at the end of the night are done. I got my, I'll have my uh, chicken burgers made. Uh, turkey burgers made, which I'll do another video, show you how I make my turkey burgers. Um, so yeah, it's all prepped and ready to go. Um, if you have any questions about what I did, how I did it, why I did it, um, anything, uh, leave them under the video, uh, comment, and I will get back to you uh, as quick as I can. And that's it. So thank you guys so much for, for watching this. I hope you learned something. hope I showed you it's really not that hard to prep. If I can do it, you can do it. You know, full-time job just like everybody else. So, you know, you got to make time. You got to prioritize to make sure that you're meeting your macros, especially for me since, you know, I'm in contest prep mode right now. So, um, hope you guys have a great day and keep watching. Thank you. Oh, wait, one more thing. You didn't think I forgot about that crock pot, did you? Just came home from work. Let's check this out. It's just protein heaven right there. Look at that. So again, I'm going to put that in my omelets. I'm going to make my tacos with that at night. And uh, we'll hit up another video next week uh, or the week after, and I'll show you, uh, you know, another meal I make with this. All right? Have a great evening, you guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.